G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. I'm on the road doing some reporting today. I found these giant triffid-like plants. Triffids from the novel The Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham. It's about these plants that can like walk along and they can like um, attack people with this flagellum, this poisonous flagellum. Check out these flowers, have a look at this. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> and what I've noticed is that they're growing really tall around the power lines. I'm thinking like the electromagnetic radiation from the power line is like causing mutations in these plants and like causing the dominant tall gene to like dominate. I don't know, I think I'm onto something here. I'm certainly glad I don't live under a power line. Who knows what it could do to you. Now there's an Aboriginal dream time story of a, of a warrior called Bulwana. And he was with his tribe and there was this storm and they got trapped in this cave. He managed to just crawl out of this cave, Bulwana, he spent weeks hunting and gathering and looking after his tribe who were stuck in this, um, stuck in this cave. Anyway, he, he, he worked himself to exhaustion and the story goes that he was lying down dying when he reached out and touched, touched a flower and his spirit left him and he, his spirit and, and went into this flower and, and this flower turned blood red. I think I might set up some standing waves in these um, guy meal lilies. Come over here, have, check out this one over here. Check out this standing wave. <laughs> Woo. There's, a, there's an anti-node in the middle and a node at the top. Do you think it's just a coincidence that these guy meal lilies are so tall near the power lines? I think not. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys again soon.